Detectives are still searching for leads in Sunday's murder of a Haitian woman. The woman who ran a convenience store on East Street and Palmetto Avenue was shot to the head and a man to the thigh sometime after 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Police told reporters that the woman died on the scene while the man is detained in hospital. The woman is identified by relatives as Margaret Ultime. Now, officer in charge of the Central Detective Unit, Superintendent Paul Roll, told us that despite rumors, the female murder victim was not a witness in her late husband's murder case. The husband was reportedly gunned down in front of the family's convenience store on Palm Tree Avenue last August. The gentleman that was, sh was shot, we are uh, speaking to him and trying to get as much information as possible from him. You know, we, ironically, I spoke a, a while ago about uh, businesses putting in these uh, surveillance system. They had surveillance system in there. It doesn't work. And so that is just as bad as having none at all. So that doesn't help us at all in this. Uh, and so we continue to appeal to members of the public who um, may have some information to come forward, let us know. Whatever they think that may be able to help to, to uh, reach out to us. And we would, we would definitely take action and try to bring this to closure. Police say armed robberies are trending right now. In fact, Superintendent Paul Rose says since last Friday, there were at least 10 persons who were victims of robbery. We've had persons walking the street um, that were robbed. Uh, one instance, a person pulling up at home, and then there were a couple of business establishments that, that were also robbed over the weekend. For the month already, um, you know, we've had... We've had, uh, like I said, it was about between um, some 10, you know, which is, is unprecedentedly high. And uh, we don't like that when we see it. But I can reassure you that the officers are doing their utmost right now to keep that police presence up and uh, visibility on the streets. Superintendent Roll is encouraging residents and business owners to be as vigilant as possible to reduce the probability of becoming a victim. Do not put up no struggle with somebody who's armed with, with a handgun. Okay. Um, we, we, we want you to, you know, cooperate. As, as difficult or perhaps cynical that, that may seem to suggest to someone to cooperate with an armed robber. Uh, we ask persons in these business establishments, of course, to install a good surveillance camera system. You know, and, and, and how the ones that wait. There are a number of provisions in the Constitution which don't comply with international law and standards. That from the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Vincent Koshetel. The UN Commissioner was addressing members of the Constitutional Reform Commission this morning when he highlighted some current gaps in the Constitution which could lead to situations where individuals can become stateless. We believe there is a gender inequality in the transmission of citizenship from mother to children born abroad. Uh, we have a problem also of uh, gender inequality of uh, transmission of citizenship from woman to foreign spouse here in the Bahamas, because those spouse may not have a nationality. Some of them might be in a situation stateless. And we also believe that there could be some uh, safeguards uh, in relation to the process for, to acquire the Bahamas citizenship. There is a requirement in the law to renounce to one citizenship before acquiring the Bahamian citizenship. Now, if you renounce before having a citizenship, another citizenship, you may end up a stateless person because the process is long. Now, another gap Mr. Koshetel highlighted was the lack of safeguards in the Constitution to prevent statelessness for foundlings or abandoned children. If you have uh, foundlings found here in the Bahamas and you are not sure who are uh, their parents and you are not able to trace the parents, uh, there is a gap in terms of nationality. What's going to be their nationality? The Constitution is silent on that and we believe that it might be useful for the Constitution to organize a pathway to citizenship for, for foundlings. Founder of the PACE program, Andrea Archer, is looking to the government for more help. The program, which is now in its 43rd year, gives teen moms a second chance at continuing their education. 
And while Archer is pleased with the overall success and impact of the program, she says she would like the government to do more. More can be done. Uh, so, um, Ms. Brown, Sonia, uh, is the president of the foundation and she is trying extremely hard to uh, find a facility. We do have a facility for these young girls. And I think, not I think, I strongly believe that more can be done by our own government, the Ministry of Education and the others. They, they do assist in a small degree but I think more can be done. And not only that, the community as well can come forward and, and, and they can help us. They can do so many other things. Well, Beyonce wasn't the only star of the Super Bowl. So were the islands of the Bahamas. The Ministry of Tourism's new Behold advertising campaign launched during U.S. sports' biggest night. And tourism officials say they're already getting significant feedback. Although it was only aired in the Florida market on CBS, the 60-second ad featured the waters and keys of the Exumas. The $200,000 spot featured acclaimed NBA alumni Rick Fox and supermodel Shakara Ladard. Joining them in the spot was magician David Copperfield, the owner of Musha Key Exuma. All sequences from the three celebrities are strung together by the baritone narration of Bahamian Greg Barrett, a former Ministry of Tourism employee. Tourism Director General David Johnson spoke with us by phone on the ad's unique concept. It speaks to the essence of what we are naturally, the natural beauty that we are champions in. Uh, no one does the water, the beaches. Um, uh, the, the, the pace, the environment, uh, the pristine environment uh, of the Bahamas. And I think we brought through our, to, the, to those children the smile on that girl's face. And that speaks to the face of our nation. Mr. Johnson also responded to critics who claim the new ad doesn't really differentiate the Bahamas from other island nations. It's only a 60 second ad. Uh, the whole beauty and all the dimensions to the Bahamas. That comes when we draw them in, but we get their attention in a dramatic way. We pull them to Bahamas.com, and then we talk more about Andros. We talk more about uh, the Bahamian culture, the cuisine, the history. We talk more about the thing. But remember, our visitors, and our research shows it, the visitors who come to the Bahamas, they come for what you see in there primarily. But while here, they enjoy all the other um, um, features. Still to come, we've got news from the Family Islands. And Jonathan Benson is straight ahead with sports. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight.